Welcome back to The Basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. This is episode two of our uh, vanilla survival here in 118. It's 1.18, the Caves and Cliffs update number two. And we've got a floating tree, but look, it's snowing at the site of our home and all of the spruce leaves have turned white. It's beautiful. What a majestic sight. Um, okay, so I have a few things to say. First of all, some of you have asked for the seed to this world and let it be said that Peter will oblige. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the seed on the screen right now. And there it is, that's the seed, 39003443. That works in 1.18 for actually both Java and bedrock, if you can believe it, because uh, that's the way things work now. Not a lot has happened off camera since I last talked to you, but I wanted to show you. I have been planting sweet berries back here, and uh, so we've got at least a sustainable source of food, even though we don't have a water bucket yet. We haven't planted any crops yet. We don't have any animal farms yet. That's a real good thing. Okay, another thing I wanted to talk about was ba -ba 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 -ba, this potato. I don't know how it happened, but we got a potato. So that's real exciting. Um, so we need to make ourselves a bucket and make sure that we can take advantage of that because uh, potatoes, I think, are going to be very, very, very beneficial for us in this world uh, because it is bedrock and I know of a thing that happens in bedrock. An experience farm that I like to power with potatoes. Okay. Oh man, this I can't get over the snow. It's so pretty. Uh, all right. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you, talk to you about, is over here at uh, negative eight. Z equals negative eight. Uh, I dug a tunnel through this jagged peak and into the meadow beyond. And I didn't pick anything up, like the iron or the coal that I exposed or anything. But I, what I'm thinking is I want to put the tree farm over here eventually. We're gonna go on a quest today, get get some dark oak. And, uh, oh, careful now. See, we busted into this cave here. And it's quite scary. Um, yeah, down there. Uh, but over here is where we're gonna plant, um, our large spruce and our oak, our dark oak for harvesting, for building. I don't like to do it in sight of my home because I feel like it's a little bit ugly slash tacky. Oh, did I just sink into this? I think I did. Um, I do think though that there may or may not be a water block somewhere. Isn't there some daylight? Yeah. Whoa. Uh -oh. We got some angry customers here. Is that the only one? Oh gosh, I gotta watch what I'm doing. Just a minute. That's a creeper. Okay, we're getting out of here. <laughs> Clearly that is not all safe and short up yet, but I wanted to show it to you. Anyway, alright, let's move on. I think the time has probably come for us to go ahead and make an iron axe. Uh, I'd like to have that so that when I do find some dark oak, which is one of the main quests for today, that I'm able to chop it down. And I think we're basically ready. Um, I'm going to head northeast and uh, see what I find. I'm pretty sure there's some dark oak up there. I just got to go find it. So here we go on an adventure. Ooh. Got ourselves a bit of a natural ravine here. It's shallow. but interesting. Also, there seems to be a lot of zombies out for it being not quite nighttime. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Ooh, look at the terrain here. This is cool. That's quite the cave. Uh-oh. Oh, jeepers creepers. I guess we go this way to escape. <gasps> Look, a village. 
Oh, it's a very welcome sight, too. It's starting to get dark. It's very snowy. Hopefully not all the villagers are already in bed. Hey, wait! I could use some of that to lure some cows. Hey! It's not very nice of you. Sorry, dude. Uh... Yoink! <laughs> Sorry, dude. Okay. You can keep that now. Um, what do we have here? Carrots? That's a new thing. Probably ought to take some of those so I can farm with them. Can I steal a bed? Yep, yoink. <laughs> Alright. This is a cool looking village, I gotta admit. It's very small. Oh, what's this guy want? Did you just break my armor? He did, he broke my helmet. These are dangerous parts out here. What we got in here? Whoa, emerald jackpot. And some leather armor. You know what, I'll take it. Even though it's the same armor I have. You know what? Let's give this guy some golden armor. In exchange. And some snowballs. Maybe he'll appreciate that. I don't know. What a tiny little village. Hey, 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 I see another path block. Looks like another village, and you know what? I never did grab the wheat from that other place. So I'm glad this is here, also we can fill our bucket with water. You know, if there's another bucket here or some more iron, I might steal it because I might want, I might want to be able to make myself an infinite water source back at home. All right, we've gathered up the wheat, we've replanted the seeds, and we got a water bucket. I think if I find some more iron or another bucket, I'm gonna steal it so I can get two sources and have an infinite amount. I'll take this pumpkin too. We can use this for stuff later. Pumpkins mostly. Pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns is a nice alternate light source. What do we got going on here? Uh, I'll take a saddle, I guess. And yeah, I guess I'll take some beetroots as well. Hello! There we go. New armor. I guess we'll give this guy our leather armor. Uh, and upgrade to the iron. Also, I need to make a bucket. Are there any uh, crafting benches around here? There's one. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, we got seeds, we got wheat, we got an infinite water source, theoretically. We got a little bit of iron. We're doing good. We're, we're gathering up quite a lot of things. There's water source number two. Hmm, we've come to some sand here, and I'm thinking it might be worth our while to uh, gather some of it, because we're gonna want glass later. So, let's make ourselves an uh, iron shovel, and we'll use up the stone shovel and maybe half of the iron shovel gathering up sand, and then we will resume. Sound good? All right. Alright, two stacks of sand feels like enough for now. Ooh, sugarcane. Definitely gonna want that for the sake of enchanting later. Let's grab that up. Well, it's starting to get just a bit dark here. We're gonna have to sleep soon. This looks like a good spot right here. Uh, birch trees and oak trees. Do we want some birch and oak saplings as long as we're uh, out and about? Probably. Ooh, a mushroom. Oh, in fact, a dark forest. This is precisely what we want because we want those dark oak saplings. Let's go get a few. Alrighty, climb up the vine here. Break. Oh, it's very shaky. Break one of these. And we're just free to go to town here. I don't even have to get any dark oak. I could just get the saplings. 
I was going for 10 and I ended up with 11 saplings. I'm quite happy with that. I guess we'll take some of the dark oak on our way out too, since we do have room for it right there. And uh, we wanted to use up at least the stone axe, which would actually create more room for it if we wanted to. At any rate, I'm gonna gather up uh, this dark oak and take these saplings and all my other goodies back to the old base and I'll meet you guys there. Bye now. Well, hi turtle. Nice to see you. You don't have to worry about me. I'm cool. We're we're good, man. Listen, you and me, we're buds, okay? It's about the camera. Cheese. Well, views like this never get old. Check out this looming mountain range. Whoa, holy smokes. I fell down a sudden a sudden hole. It's the worst kind. Oh hello bunnies. Little baby bunny. But yeah, this snowy terrain, I like it. And this isn't even like crazy mountains yet, but it's already looking good. Alrighty, we are arriving back home here and we gotta drop off all of our goodies. Let's see, what's important? Uh, leather's important, meat's important. Saplings are all important. Sugarcane's gonna be important. Um, I guess wheat and seeds and food and variables are important, okay. Uh, Saddle, sure, the buckets. Yeah, we gotta make our uh, infinite water source. We can put some building block stuff in here uh, for now at least. I think that will be fine. Okay, I have to do um, a little bit of organizing. And then uh, something we need to do, I think, is maybe go get some of that iron so we can make some iron tools so we can flatten this out. A couple of creepers got pretty close to me when I first set out on that expedition. And, uh, so we got a little bit of terraforming and leveling to do, but I want the back of the house to include this. Uh, and then I want the house to go, excuse me, I want the house to go this way, a fair ways. <clears throat> so I gotta flatten the land a little bit. I think I gotta take some of this dirt and put it over here. Uh, and that's gonna take iron tools. Um, and then we're gonna have to get started on the tree farm too. And that's gonna take a little bit of terraforming and uh, and then planting and just time as well. So we got a lot to do. Let's get to it. All right You know what before I do any of that actually I want to get The old infinite water source going here uh, Not there So let's grab those buckets and fill that up All right, hopefully it's not cold enough for this to freeze with those torches right there, but We'll see. Uh, maybe doing it like this would be better. Yeah, like that. Um, and we need to uh, plant some potatoes. So let's do that as well, because potatoes, I'm telling you, potatoes are going to be huge. Well, I just dug out this whole big spot for um, a potato garden down here, and it cost me a couple of pickaxes, but I did get 11 raw iron in the process. So that is not too bad. Let me show you. Oh. Hello. Um, I do want ender pearls. Well, I didn't get a pearl, but I did lose <laughs> uh, a plant, I'll bet. Yep. What a guy, thanks. Um, that was interesting, I was not expecting that to happen. Uh, we're gonna put a water source block here. Did I do that a little too early? No, that's the right spot. Okay, and then we just need a couple of, um, uh, we could do stone walls. We really only need one. Is it nighttime out? It is. We should sleep, but I'm not going to. I'm just too excited. Okay, we put this in here. And the water stays there. Right? Is that enough to hydrate? I don't still have my hoe on me. We'll run that uh, test and make sure. The water is a little bit clippy. Can I do something like... Oops. 
something like this. Oh, you can't put lights on those. Uh, we could do this. And maybe that would be better. I just don't know. Do we even have enough dirt to fill this out? Of course we don't. We need one and a quarter stacks. Okay, let's plant our potato. We'll look for more dirt too. I want to plant the potato. Potato. Our only potato. Oh, we do have more dirt. Here's zombie. We're coming up. This is not how I imagined this going, but as cold as it is out there, as cold and as snowy as it is, I kind of don't mind doing it this way. Okay, let's plant our potato. Um, we can plant it here. And then we'll see how it does. Oh, <laughs> that was perfect. We have zero dirt left over. Not planned, guys. Hashtag blessed. Okay, let's make sure that we have as much light on here as we want. That's how much we want right there. Okay, so I'm going to let the potato grow, and I'm going to um, harvest it when it's full, and then replant, and keep doing that until we uh, really get cooking. That should be that should be good. Potatoes are a great food source, but they're also the key to unlimited experience. I can't wait to show you guys. Hopefully they didn't patch it out for 118. I really want to figure it out fast. Okay, uh, let's sleep. And what did I say I was going to do? I was going to... Uh, oh yeah, we gotta, boy, we got a lot to do this episode. We gotta roll up our sleeves, we gotta go get some iron, and we gotta, um, start terraforming so that we can, uh, build our tree farm and build our home. But you know what? I'm gonna take a short break. It's not gonna feel like anything for you, but I'll be right back. Alrighty, everyone, break is over. It was a very short one for you, and it was one that grew some crops for me. I have been, uh... And I expanded the farm a little bit, as you could probably see. I've been trying to get things going here. We need sugar cane, and I planted what we had, and I see that it is finally growing. So I was a little worried that it was not. But this is what uh, you guys missed out on during my break. Um, not too much, just expanded the farm a little bit. Um, you saw me dig out half of what it is now, essentially. It's a nine by nine here, and I did a second one over here. And I rotated the crops sideways. So now we've got a decent amount. Oh yeah, that dirt was my stay safe <laughs> while the crops grow place. And uh, let's see, we've got uh, potatoes and wheat over here. So I'm gonna harvest this stuff up actually real quick and uh, and then I'll talk to you about what is next. So be right back. Okay, that's all of the crops. As you can see, everything is freshly replanted and now it is time to move on. I'll show you what else uh, has changed briefly. Let's see, I put a chest here for this kind of stuff. And uh, we're starting to build up a few stacks of potatoes, which is nice. Oh, I need some more for this. Um, how about here? Um, out here. Okay, let's take a look out here. So I cleared away a little bit of dirt, and this is all cobblestone now underneath this. But as you can see, it's snowing, so it doesn't do much good. I think I want the house to include right this staircase and also to hello black sheep and also to include this hallway so this probably should be the level of the house and uh, so I'm gonna need to be adding some earth there or we could just have it up on stilts I guess that's a possibility too but it's been snowing quite a bit look at the way the snow accumulates I think that's really interesting uh, and then we got some land to clear on the other side for the sake of the uh, for the sake of the tree farm. So let's see, what do we have here? We have 29 iron. I'm not sure we need to actually go do more. I can move the wheat. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep some wheat on me so that if I see 
a cow, I can lure it. I certainly can build up with this cobblestone, but maybe we'll start with stilts. And then we'll go from there. Um, hmm. Yeah, we need to get... Snow keeps falling on this stuff. Look how thick it is on the trees. I kind of love that. <clears throat> um, yeah, so the house will go over here, and I want some glass so I can look at this too. I was kind of hoping for some more jagged peaks up there than what we have. Um, but it is what it is. Okay, so I think that providing a cobblestone floor uh, for the house to begin with is probably a good idea. We'll spread those out, and now we've got some cobblestone in the old inventory. We've got some hay in case we see... Uh, some critters. And let's just sort of connect this up with... Uh, what we got going on over here. That's not a bad starting uh, floor for the house. And we could dig all this up. See, there's a lot of snow here. And it is just gonna keep accumulating. Um, I wonder if torches would actually prevent that. They might. Let's run an experiment. Let's, um... Because we know the snow accumulates quite prolifically here while we AFK. Let's put a torch uh, on the corner here. And then maybe one over here. See, there's one here, so that does seem to be doing something. Uh, but this will confirm our test. And this is not big enough for the house. But you know what? Maybe we won't build a very big house at first. Maybe this will be our zero, zero spot. And our main spot will come when we do a little more exploring. And we find something that's just a little more uh, worthy of, of you. I'm kind of coming up with these ideas, you know, as I go. Uh, if you can't tell. I think maybe that's a good idea. Uh, okay, so let me build a little more floor, and I'll check back with you guys in a bit, and then we'll go and we'll clear some space over by the tree farm so we can plant some dark oak and some giant spruce, uh, and then that will give us the lumber that we need for all the things we want to build. So I'll be right back. All right, quick update for a little bit of progress wanted to show you. This is now goes out nine blocks uh, from that wall and 16 blocks from that wall encasing the spruce tree in what I think is a rather nice little development. Uh, I've set some light about, and uh, that's the middle. <clears throat> so we'll see about maybe a lot of glass here, I don't know. Uh, but this will be the headquarters for, um, we can move some of that stuff out. And uh, the tree farm is going to be that way, so I'm going to grab some more cobblestone and make sure I'm okay on tools. I think another iron shovel would probably be a good idea. And I also think we should probably get rid of some of these snowballs. Alrighty, we got our stuff all set. Oh, look at that sky. Beautiful. We got our stuff all set. We're going to run through our tunnel here. And uh, do a little terraforming over here. We're bringing the bed with us because um, it is getting late. we got to put some stairs in here at some point. Jumping up these blocks is uh, not sustainable. Yeah, we gotta put some guardrails in here at some point. I was just hoping to not fall off and get in trouble. It's also not sustainable. You can see that the tree farm is uh, an increase in elevation from, uh... Ooh, yeah. Let's sleep. Hopefully this won't hurt us when we get out of bed. It's been a long time since that's happened, but the getting out of bed metric is not the most reliable. Oh, and I'm thinking I probably should have brought some dirt with me. Oh, and I've got some. Good. Okay. So we got dirt and cobblestone on the hot bar. Um, and we need a lot of torches, so I'm glad we got them. All right. Uh, so let's see. Let's get a little lay of the land here. You can see it's very crowded right now and what I want it to be is flat and ready uh, 
for planting trees. So I'm going to get to work on that and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a bit. All right, I'll admit it's not much to look at yet, but here is where we are. <laughs> we got a little rectangle of dirt instead of snow, and uh, I gotta obviously cut down that tree and cut down that tree, and the sun is already going down. But <clears throat> this will be where we plant um, dark oak and eventually the giant spruce. We've got plenty of dark oak for now, uh, so we don't we're not in any kind of rush for that. So I'm gonna cut down this tree and this tree and I'm gonna get some saplings and plant them here. And uh, and then maybe we'll do a little uh, cave-in because I'd like to get full iron armor in this episode. All right, so what I said was I wanted uh, full iron armor in this episode and that is true. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the boots and the helmet right now and then say that we need to find those nine iron uh, in our caving explorations because I do have stairs on me I'm thinking we'll do our exploration in the cave that we found between our original base and mine and the tree farm so let's put our stairs in here and uh, if we need to clear any headroom along the way we will and uh, I'll um, jump to the part where we're in the caves alrighty all the stairs are in place and the caves are right here I noticed a creeper yeah, still there, and that skeleton wants to shoot at me. So, what is the smart way to do this? How did we get so much snow inside of a cave here? This might be the smart way to go. Ow, there he is. Is he shooting me through the snow? He is! Those must be transparent blocks. Well, that's kind of a ripoff. Hey, Mr. Zombie. All right, time for some revenge. Okay, let's go this way first. Cool. Oh yeah, now I'm slow. Is this like an underground snow biome? It's kind of crazy. Like why snowy? I certainly do not want to sink in the snow and find myself getting dead. But I see some gold. It is snowy over here. Hello, former villager. I'm here to put you out of your misery. Look, this creeper is stuck in the snow. No, not anymore, he's not. Is that a kindness? Hard to say. I am definitely going to avoid this snow, I think. Oh, <laughs> see you later. Ooh, do we look at this guy? I think we probably do. <coughs> Did not do that very well. Hello! <coughs> no pearl! Alright, let's get some iron. I'm getting nervous. One, two... We need nine. And we got it right here. In order for this to be a success, I think. Because we made the... Getting real paranoid. I'm hearing noises. Because we made the armor. These caves are so big, it's hard to know how to uh, handle the exploration. Yep, there's one. Okay. That's fine. I see a lot of gold armor over there. No, 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 no.
Ooh, yeah. Shoot each other. That'd be fine. I want that guy's bow. And this guy's armor. Very nice. I love sort of playing the mobs against each other like that. Okay, um, probably pushed our luck a decent amount. I did want to show you guys, uh, maybe I just go get this iron real quick. The gravel is making me nervous. And the mobs. The gravel wants to fall if it can, okay. Um, we'll take this stuff back to the base and I wanna show you guys the mine too because I dug down a ways and added stairs and we got stuck where there was gold. Uh, and I didn't want to mine the gold without you guys. So, uh, let's stash some of this stuff. We'll put the iron in the furnace, of course. And, oh, 16, what a great number. Two coal will smelt all of that perfectly efficiently. I will dump some junk in the junk drawer here. Uh, we're getting full. And uh, then we will, I'll show you guys the mine. Let's stop by the old farm here. Looking good. Uh, I need to build a uh, our experience machine with the potatoes and all that. I'm thinking I'd probably do it here and not by the tree farm. I don't know. I think, I don't know. Are they within simulation distance? I'm just not sure. We've got to build some extra chests too because our inventory is getting full and our chests are very full. So uh, while it's been fun gathering resources, we're really going to have to get to work on a temporary proper base at least and can you see my outfit between my pants and my shirt a little bit you kind of can there can't you that's weird uh okay here's this dangerous place lots of iron to be had lots of danger to be had and here's our uh the gold i didn't want to mine up without you guys so here's the first gold of the world and now we're down to um 10 y equals 10. So at this point we can go down to negative 30 and then uh, still have enough stairs to get back up. Let's grab all the gold we can. Okay, uh, so I'm going to go down to uh, negative 30 and if I find anything interesting I'll let you guys know. Alright, here we have our first deep slate of the world. This is basically just the smooth stone of uh, the negative y values. You, you can see we're down at y equals negative one now, and things are getting deeper and darker. Note how fast the stone mines versus the deep slate. So digging does get a little slower now that we're deeper, which I think is interesting and uh, kind of cool. Um, it brings back uh, the feelings I had playing like Minecraft back in the old days where it felt uh, scary and um, adventurous and achievement-y to get deeper down. So anyway, I'm going to keep going uh, to negative 30 and I'll cut back in if something cool happens. <gasps> Guys, diamonds. Oh, just found them. How cool. Okay, I'm going to combine these two pickaxes. I had to uh, go get some iron and make another one because I was running low. We're actually down at y equals negative 49 right now, and there are the first diamonds of the series. We are way deep down right now. So let's be careful with these and dig around them and make sure we're not going to lose them to uh, lava or anything. Uh, it's cool to see the deep slate diamonds. So diamonds can occur in regular stone or in deep slate. Uh, I think. I know that other stuff can, like gold can, <clears throat> and iron and things like that, but uh, it, if they appear low enough. But come to think of it, maybe stone doesn't generate low enough for regular stone diamonds anymore. But anyway, this is exciting. We found our first diamonds, and if it's more than five, we're not even going to mine them all. We'll just mine five. Because we want a pickaxe for obsidian. Actually, we have some obsidian, don't we? We may only mine... Uh, 
two for an enchanting table. Well, I see at least four here. Well, that's a good sign. There's five, six, excellent. I don't know if the max or count is eight still or not. There's seven. Oh, and there's eight. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I'll have to double check and see if we have at least four obsidian. I know we found some in a chest at a uh, place. How's that for being descriptive enough? Uh, can we keep going down here? I think we can. As long as we're this close, I just would like to get to the bottom of the world here. Find some bedrock. Uh, so I'll keep digging down. Alrighty, here we are at the very bottom of the world. As you can see, there is uh, bedrock beneath my feet. And uh, that's negative 59. That's the highest that bedrock can generate. So there's our diamonds right up there. We've dug all the way down to the bottom of the world. I'm going to hollow out a bigger room here. And we'll start a proper mine at some point. But for now, I've got to build stairs back up and get out of here. Um, so we got some... We got some tree farming to do, we got some farming to do, we got some potato cooking to do for our experience machine. We got a lot to do, we'll get to that and more next time in the basement.